Hey, what is up everyone? It's Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2. Welcome back to your Oracle series. This video is going to be covering UTF-8 and UTF-16 character sets. Now I know we already talked about UTF-8 and UTF-16 a couple of videos ago, but this video is going to be talking about character sets that use those encodings. So we, as database people, don't deal so much with encodings as much as we deal with character sets. That's because specific character sets are going to use certain encodings. So the only time we deal with encodings is through character sets. Now I've mentioned before that UTF-8 and UTF-16 are examples of encodings for the Unicode character set. But it's not quite that simple. We don't just have a character set called Unicode. There are a couple of different options that use UTF-8 or UTF-16. And that is what we are going to be talking about in this video. So we're going to be talking about the very specific names that we need to use in Oracle Database. The first character set is AL32UTF8. And this uses the UTF-8 encoding. In this character set, each character can take up to four bytes. Now, there is another character set, and this is where it gets super confusing, called UTF-8. <laughs> of course, it had, it had to name it. And the encoding that this character set uses is UTF-8. So wait, hold up, what is going on here? <laughs> well, notice here that this one does not have a hyphen, and this does. So UTF-8 without the hyphen in Oracle is talking about the character set. With the hyphen is talking about the encoding. So here is a good question. If both of these are using the UTF-8 encoding, what could possibly be different between the two? Well, the difference is that UTF-8 is using an older version. An older version of UTF-8, that is. Overall, they work about the same, but the primary difference is how things are stored. Specifically, things known as supplementary characters. Supplementary characters are the characters that take four bytes in this character set. The difference with this character set is that each supplementary character takes two sets of three bytes, totaling six bytes. So the way they are stored is slightly different. Overall, it's about the same, but since this one is using an older version, almost always are you going to want to use this character set. This is the default for new databases, and it is the character set you are going to want to use 99.9999999 repeating <laughs> percent of the time. The next character set we are going to talk about is known as AL16UTF16. And this uses the UTF-16 encoding. Now we discussed this encoding a couple of videos ago, so I'm not going to be redundant and explain that all again. If you wanna learn more about the UTF-16 encoding, go watch that video over UTF-8 and UTF-16. There is a fourth character set known as UTF-E. The encoding this one uses is known as UTF-E-B-C-D-I-C. -E and this one, is super archaic and you're almost never going to want to use this. But I thought I would mention it in case you run across it because there is a chance you might. In general, these are the two character sets that you're going to use the most. It's important to understand this character set, this character set, and this one when we start talking about NCHAR, which we are going to discuss a little bit more in the next video because these character sets are going to come up. This one, it might exist, but you can basically pretend that it doesn't. <laughs> So yeah guys, that's all I got for this video. Hopefully that was helpful. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click like and subscribe as that will really help my channel. On it.